जी अब हमने बेटा जो काम करना है आपका ये स्क्रीन शो होगी मेरी नहीं अच्छा मैं स्क्रीन स्टार्ट कर दूं स्क्रीन शेयर कर दूं आपके साथ जी स्क्रीन शो होगी यस सर चलें जी अब अब मैं नेक्स्ट जो ना वो स्टार्ट करता हूँ जो हमने करना है वो एस्टीमेशन ऑफ नाइटेट आइन है ठीक है ये अभी वीडियो मैं इसके प्ले करता हूँ फिर बाद में मैं आपको बताता हूँ इसका Analyzing salt is called salt analysis. Here we are going to identify the cation and anion which is present in the salt. Generally, a compound contains cation and anion. What is anion? An ion with a negative charge formed when an atom gains electrons in a reaction. Non-metals tend to form anions. Example of anion: nitrates, sulfates. halogens or bromide chloride carbonate how to identify this every anion has its own individual identification test let us see first nitrate identification test Now add copper turning to the test tube. Now hold it with holder. Now add a few drops of sulfuric acid. Now heat it on for 
to Buna for a few minutes. Now filter the solution. This filtrate is called Na2CO3 extract. Now we will prepare ferrous sulfate solution. Take a test tube and add ferrous sulfate with the help of a spatula. Now add distilled water into it. Now shake it to get a homogeneous solution. Now take another test tube. Now add one ml of extract into test tube. Add few drops of ferrous sulfate solution to it. Here we can observe the precipitate. Now, with help of Vila. Slowly add a few drops of concentrate H2SO4 into test tube. Sulfuric acid forms a layer below the aqueous solution. Here we can observe the brown ring formation at the junction of two layers. This ring indicates that salt contains nitrate ion. जी क्लास समझ आई ये देख लें जी ये सारी चीजें जो डेफिनेशन उसमें बताई ये जो सारी चीजें थी देन उसके बाद उसने नाइट्रेट का टेस्ट किया ये मटेरियल आ गए और फर्स्ट वही क्लीन ड्राई टेस्ट ट्यूब ली उसके बाद उसमें नो एड साल्ट आपने डाला देन कॉपर टर्निंग कॉपर पीसेस होते हैं सॉल्ट के वो आपने उसमें ऐड किए होल्ड इट विद होल्डर और उसमें फ्यू ड्रॉप ऑफ सल्फ्यूरिक एसिड ऐड किए हीट का ना बन सब बनर ऑफ द विट केयरफुली रेडिश ब्राउन फ्यूम्स आर इवॉल्व इवॉल्विंग एंड सॉल्यूशन इज टर्निंग टू ब्लू ठीक हो गया ये जो इंडिकेशन है ये सीधी सीधी आपकी नाइट्रेट की होती है ठीक है देन आपका ब्राउन रिंग टेस्ट आ जाता है ब्राउन रिंग टेस्ट में आपको सोडियम कार्बोनेट एक्सट्रैक्ट ऑफ फेरे सल्फेट है ये आपको पता है कि जो साल्ट है ना आपका वो अगर आपने वन एम एल वन ग्राम लिया ना तो उसके अंदर थ्री ग्राम आपने जो है ना सोडियम कार्बोनेट ऐड करना है ठीक हो गया डिस्टल वाटर उसमें ऐड करेंगे देन उसको हीट करना आपने बन सब बन पे कुछ मिनट के लिए देन उसको फिल्टर करना है जो फिल्ट्रेट होगा वो आपका सोडियम कार्बोनेट एक्सट्रैक्ट कहलाता है अब इसमें आपने क्या करना है टेक अ टेस्ट ट्यूब एड फ्यू 
ferrosulfate with the help of spatula now add distilled water in it shake it to get homogeneous solution clear ho gaya jo aapka ferrosulfate ka solution aapne lena hai take another test tube add 1 ml of extract jo upar aapne banaya hai aur uske baad aap few drop of ferrosulfate solution usme add karenge ye jo aapne isme banaye hue hain here we can observe precipitate now with the help of filter slowly add few drop of concentrated sulfuric acid ठीक हो गया टेस्ट ट्यूब में ऐड करना है और फेरिस सल्फ्यूरिक एसिड फॉर्म वाले है बिलो दिस एक्वा सॉल्यूशन तो वो वहां पे वो कैन ऑब्जर्व ब्राउन रिंग जो आपको पता है कि दो जंक्शन पे जो आपका वो ब्राउन रिंग बन गया था तो ये आपका रिंग टेस्ट है और इस पे ये नाइट्रेट का कंफर्मेटिव टेस्ट है ये उसके अंदर रिएक्शन हुआ था आपका क्लियर समझ आ गई जी क्लास नेक्स्ट अब आपका आ जाता है Identifying nitrate ion from a given unknown sample. ये अब हम दोबारा देखते हैं ये सेम यही जो ना सोल्यूशन इस वो प्रैक्टिकल को ना मोस्टली वीडियो के अंदर ना रिपीट किया गया अब हम नेक्स्ट देख लेते हैं इसमें इसमें क्या था आपका वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स इन टूडेज एक्सपेरिमेंटल क्लास वील बी डिटेक्टिंग वन ऑफ दॉमनली आस्ट इन योर सॉल्ट एनालिसिस फॉर क्लास इलेवेंटिंग द नाइट रेट आयन and the procedure would be done by one of my students namita jalal she begins with her salt let's have a look at the salt first the salt is not like a base powder you can feel it in your fingers to check it could be like sugar could be like salt but it definitely is not like base powder so we ignore carbonate it would never be a carbonate salt we begin with this anion analysis You will take the salt in a test tube. To it, you need to add dilute sulfuric acid. That's the first step of anions. Let's put dilute sulfuric acid to it. You will always be checking for the gas evolution in the experimental analysis for anions. While adding the reagent, check the gas evolution. No gas. There is not even a single bubble. Shows that there is absence of sulfite. Sulfide, nitrite, and carbonate. So all these are absent. You will again take a fresh sample of salt. In a separate test tube, she is taking another sample of the same salt. To this, this time you need to add concentrated sulfuric acid. Be very careful while using concentrated sulfuric acid. It is very corrosive. So you preferably use a dropper for it. Adding concentrated sulfuric acid. observe why you are adding the acid and we can see no bubbles no evolution of a gas during the addition you can add a little more to confirm check whether there is any evolution of gas or not these fumes are only of sulfuric acid so there is no bubble formation in the test tube shows that there is no gas evolved to move ahead whether there is any gas so which means there is neither chloride bromide or iodide Bromide would have given us a brown flame. Iodide, a violet fumes, whereas chloride would have given us white fumes. None of them is there, so we move ahead to check for nitrate. For nitrate, you need to use the burner and a piece of paper. She'll put on the burner now, and then she would be using a piece of paper. There's no magic in the piece of paper. The piece of paper is just the carbon provider. The carbon is acting as the reducing agent. You already have sulfuric acid in the medium. Sulfuric acid acts as a dehydrating agent, removes water from the piece of paper, giving you carbon available. Adding the piece of paper to it, she will now be using test tube holder. She since it's to be heated. On heating the contents, on heating the contents, we observe. A brown gas evolved. You can see the brown movement. Movement of this brown vapors upward. That indicates it's a brown gas, which is observed. Let's have a closer look to the test tube. You can see it has a clear brown gas. This indicates that it is a nitrate anion. So the confirmatory test for nitrate is called as the brown ring test, which now Namita would be performing. For the brown ring test, you require a fresh test tube. You 
you can use OS to begin with. For the OS, she's again preparing salt plus water to give you the OS. This is her OS ready. Roughly around one to two ml of OS is good enough. For this OS, you will need to add around amount, almost the same amount of freshly prepared ferrous sulfate. Mind you, freshly prepared because ferrous salts quickly transform into ferric by aerial oxidation. So you always require the ferrous sulfate to be fresh. Addition of ferrous sulfate, the two solutions are miscible. Now the solution has OS plus ferrous sulfate. Now is the catch. The final step of the brown ring test involves addition of sulfuric acid slowly, carefully, cautiously from the sides of the test tube to observe a brown ring. The brown ring would be towards the middle of this solution only if the amount of concentrated sulfuric acid is higher. So see to it that at least 1 ml of concentrated sulfuric acid is added to the sides of the test tube. That's how it's to be done. Touch the test tube with a dropper and keep pressing it in. This would cause sulfuric acid to move in. She would require a little more. This I don't think is around 1 ml. Another dropper full of sulfuric acid might be required without any movement. Because if you move, your brown ring would blend into the solution. Touch the test tube. Touch the test tube with the dropper. You can see there's a brown ring formation. Slowly make the test tube a little straight and now observe there is a ring below. The, amount, the ring is away from the bottom of the test tube only if the acid content is higher. And she's added around 1 ml of the acid, so the ring is just about 1 ml above the bottom of the test tube. This is how you perform the brown ring test, which is the final confirmatory test for nitrate. I hope we've clarified the testing of nitrate in the lab. Fine? We end the class now. clear. Yes, sir. Sir, sodium carbonate extract ke bagayar bhi ring ban raha hai. To phir sodium carbonate extract dalne ki kya zorat hai? Na bhi aap dalne to koi nahi. Pehle bhi humne ye baat clear kari thi ki agar aapne nahi bhi dalna sodium carbonate extract nahi bhi banana to waise perform kar sakte hain. Koi issue nahi hai. Sir, aur bhi jo silver nitrate ke test hai na, jo chloride ki determination mein. तो उसमें भी एरिया डाला हुआ था कई जगहों पे लिखा हुआ है कई जगहों पे नहीं लिखा हुआ तो इसको नहीं डाल लेना फिर ना ना नहीं बनाना तो ना बनाए कोई इशू नहीं है इससे ओके सर ये कौन बात कर रहा है सर शहर बानू ये तो खा के रही है नहीं सर कुछ नहीं सर हैंड फ्री को पकड़ा हुआ है शायद उसकी आवाज आ रही अच्छा अच्छा चलो ठीक है ओके नेक्स्ट अब आपका आ जाता है ये सारे इसी के टेस्ट आ जाते हैं ये आप देख लें ये भी आपका नाइट्रेट टेस्ट है ये वहीं सेम हीटिंग विद सारी जो है ना वो कंसंट्रेटेड सल्फ्यूरिक एसिड है कन्फर्मेटी टेस्ट है ये थोड़े से इसमें एक दो ना नए दिए हुए हैं ये अब आप देखते हैं इसको देख लेते हैं Chemical tests for nitrate. Nitrates are compounds containing nitrate ions. The nitrate ion consists of one central nitrogen atom surrounded by three oxygen atoms in trigonal planar arrangement. The nitrate ion carries a formal charge of minus one. The common examples of inorganic nitrate salts are sodium nitrate, potassium nitrate and ammonium nitrate. Leafy green foods such as spinach and arugula are the rich source of inorganic nitrate. Our aim here is to test for the presence of nitrate ions in a given salt. The tests to determine the presence of the nitrate ion are preliminary tests and confirmatory tests. Let's first look at the preliminary tests of nitrate. They are dry heating test, Concentrated sulfuric acid test. Dry heating test. Materials required. 
original salt, ferrous sulfate solution, test tubes, test tube holder and Bunsen burner. Procedure Take a small quantity of the salt in a test tube and heat it over the Bunsen burner. On heating, nitrate undergoes decomposition to evolve reddish-brown gas of nitrogen dioxide with a pungent smell. Cover the test tube containing salt with an empty test tube and collect the gas. Now, pour some ferrous sulfate solution into the test tube filled with gas. Ferrous sulfate reacts with nitrogen dioxide to form a black coloration. Concentrated sulfuric acid test. Materials required. Original salt. Concentrated sulfuric acid. Ferrous sulfate solution. Paper pellets. Test tubes and dropper. Procedure. Take a small quantity of the salt in a test tube. To this, add a small volume of concentrated sulfuric acid using a dropper. Nitrate reacts with concentrated sulfuric acid to form vapors of nitric acid. Now, add small paper pellets into the test tube. The paper pellets reduces nitric acid to reddish-brown gas of nitrogen dioxide, which has a pungent smell. Cover the test tube containing salt with an empty test tube and collect the gas. Now, pour some ferrous sulfate solution to the test tube filled with gas. Ferrous sulfate reacts with nitrogen dioxide to form a black coloration. Next, we look at the confirmatory tests of nitrate. They are diphenylamine test, copper chips test, brown ring test. Diphenylamine test. Materials required. Aqueous solution of the salt, diphenylamine, test tube and dropper. Procedure. Take a small portion of aqueous solution of the salt in the test tube. To this, add a small amount of diphenylamine the dropper. In presence of nitrate, diphenylamine is oxidized, giving a deep blue coloration. Copper chips test. Materials required. Original salt, concentrated sulfuric acid, copper chips, test tube, test tube holder, dropper and Bunsen burner. Procedure. Take a small quantity of original salt in the test tube. To this, add a small quantity of concentrated sulfuric acid using the dropper. Nitrate reacts with concentrated sulfuric acid to form vapors of nitric acid. Now, add a few copper chips and heat the test tube over the Bunsen burner. Copper chips react with nitric acid to form reddish-brown fumes of nitrogen dioxide. Brown ring test. Materials required. Aqueous solution of the salt. Freshly prepared ferrous sulfate solution. Concentrated sulfuric acid. Test tube and a dropper. Procedure. Take a small volume of aqueous solution of the salt in the test tube. To this, add a small quantity of freshly prepared ferrous sulfate solution. Using the dropper, pour a small volume of concentrated sulfuric acid slowly along the sides of the test tube. Nitrate reacts with ferrous sulfate and concentrated sulfuric acid to form nitrosonium complex, which appears as a brown ring at the junction of the layers of the acid and the solution. Precautions Handle the apparatus and chemicals carefully. Use droppers to take the reagents from the bottles. Use freshly prepared ferrous sulfate solution. Wear a lab coat and gloves while performing the experiment. G class. G yes, sir. Clear? G yes, sir. अब आगे ये आपके इस तरह टेबल की फॉर्म में दिया हुआ सेम वही जो ऊपर आके टेस्ट परफॉर्म हुए ना सारे 
उनको सर ये टेबल की फॉर्म में दिया गया है क्लियर हाँ जी सर